Hey Scooter Crew, how are you? Good evening. So I wanted to show you a couple of the accessories I put on my VSET 10 Plus. If you haven't seen my uh, review on the scooter, freaking amazing. Uh, check that out if you have already, thank you. But you know, please go check it out, you don't want to miss it. There's a bunch of details. Um, I love with the scooter, it's great. We're just out today for another 20 mile ride. Okay, I can't say enough about it, but I wanted to show a couple of the accessories I added onto this specifically, um, as well as my other video where I just showed some necessities. Um, I have those on here too, but just I do have a couple of extras on this. So I wanted to show you those real fast. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. All right, so here it is, the VSET 10 Plus. So a couple of the accessories I have on this one have our waterproof pack, um, so you can put tons of stuff in there whatever you want just something that's great to have on the scooter um, I have an extra battery pack in there I put my pump in there for the tires some extra tools you have your keys you can throw in there and if you drove to your location you can throw your car keys in there just something really great to have on there and uh, super simple and uh, fairly cheap to put on there as well um, I covered a couple of these things in, in my other video but I'm just gonna do them real quick again uh, this is an additional light, um, so the, the light that comes on the VSAT 10, uh, right down there on the front, there is two on the back. Um, you also have two additional ones, one here and then right on the other side. Uh, they're kind of bright, but not really. Uh, they're definitely brighter on the Q-Power 2, but you absolutely need a secondary light. Um, it's just not bright enough. You can't see far enough in front of you for potholes or you know problems in the roadway or on sidewalks wherever you're riding so this thing's phenomenal all the links for everything i have on here are down in the description um, most of it's pretty much been bought, bought on amazon so really easy to be able to find that out but super bright check out the other video i have on this uh, you can see the difference even with the q power 2 light on once i turn this on it's i mean it's it's crazy bright so definitely recommend that phone mount really great um, and then it can pretty much hold any phone that you like uh, has all these various sizes yeah super simple easy so you need a little more handlebar space here to be able to put your additional stuff on they sell these these usually go on mountain bikes uh, you can kind of see here I just have it mounted down here two screws comes with all the bolts and stuff and then this mounts on here and then I can mount my additional devices because there's really not too much space in the handlebars here to, to mount extra stuff especially if you break them down because these unscrew and kind of come back here so you wouldn't be able to do it anyway so a great great thing to have some people like to mount it down in the stem I like it up here because it's more convenient to be able to get to so some additional lighting I have on this you can see they're really bright um, also found on Amazon I have one on the front one uh, rear facing here and then it has all these cool different effects you can go through yeah just really neat really bright and so that's it's great at night so people can see why you're riding around rechargeable but really nice and simple coming down here I have these motorcycle um, fall protectors and they just pretty much just screw on right on to you just remove the the nut for the to hold the tire on and the motor and then you just uh, pretty much just screw it on and then the second piece here just screws on there as well one on each side actually just saved me today because it it's it the scooter tipped over as i was putting it in my truck and it scraped the bottom of the back one on the back tire uh, but it saved my scooter from getting scraped up so i don't care if these get bent uh, they're pretty easy to replace and cheap but i do care about my scooter getting scratched up so great to have and it looks cool too and it matches the gold but a whole bunch of different colors if uh, you wanted to get those Now the other thing I have on here, which uh, I put on additionally, this came from the manufacturer. That's a steering damper. Um, it was on there pretty simple. 
comes in a couple different pieces see right back here comes in a deck piece here remove the, the screws these two pieces screw together and then this whole thing mounts on steering damper mounts into here on the screws here and then there's two screws that you remove and then this piece it kind of wraps around the, the steering uh, uh, stem uh, then the, you just pretty much mount it on you can adjust the damper right here for a little bit more or a little less depending on how much you want with your steering um, now so one of the complaints that people have is when they go over about 30 35 miles an hour on this you get a lot of uh, wobble in the front wheel um, there's a couple different factors that might cause that I only had it briefly one time before I had the steering damper but ever since I put this on I haven't had any issues whatsoever uh, today I was cruising at 40 miles an hour and absolutely no problems at all and if you plan on going that fast and you need to crank that up a little bit you can do that and then can uh, crank that back down um, and then you'll be good to go uh, right over here is my Bluetooth speaker which I mount on the stem with a holder this is uh, made by anchor and it is their sound core I forget how many how many watts this is offhand uh, but really great speaker waterproof it's got a rubberized texture on the top if you're just looking for something cheap this wasn't that expensive and I think it was about 25 bucks but sounds great got a good base to it and it's rechargeable and, and lasts for hours and then with that too you have a mounting part and this is pretty much is zip tied on here um, and then it has these brackets too and then really easy to just kind of mount the speaker in there I ha also have underbody lights I installed um, it's gonna be a little hard to show you those because uh, they're underneath the scooter are mounted underneath the deck area I'll put a link in the description of the LEDs I have and then they just pretty much plug right into a battery bank which I have housed in my pack here and then it just run I just run the cord um, all the way up the stem right into the bag and uh, you're pretty much good to go but really great looks awesome at night and you have the whole entire floor area, ground, it's all illuminated in whatever color you want or different variations. And the only other thing I would recommend is there's not a whole lot of illumination in the back of the scooter, especially at night. So if you don't have something reflective on your helmet or a reflective um, light or a vest or something like that, I'd recommend putting a little LED light on the back side, maybe something facing up just something um, I do have these lights on the back I also wear a reflective vest as well so I do get some illumination from the back um, and not really goes with the, the whole VSET thing but I just got these in the other day uh, these are my winter gloves these are I thought these were pretty awesome big fan of the Joker and yeah so they were pretty cool I figured that I'd point those out as well, also on Amazon. Alright, so there you go. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, leave a comment down below. Um, put your favorite accessories down there. If there's something you like on your scooter that you use, you know, let everybody know. Help the community out. Have fun scooting. Until next time, take care.